Stasis Foundation is the charitable side of the worshipful company of Station as a newspaper maker, livery company. I think, I, arguably, I have the nicest job in the livery company because I'm running a, a, a committee of trustees who are all giving so much to the charity. They all have ideas and they always speak up. And I think on the whole, there's not much better jobs because we're giving money to people who need it. The Stationers Foundation is the charitable arm of the Stationers Company. The mission of the Foundation is to provide education and welfare support for those connected to the communications and content industries. The company's involvement in training and education began in 1557, when apprenticeship indentures were drawn up by the company for young people entering our industries. Today, through the Foundation, the company provides welfare and education for all ages, from primary school children to postgraduate students. The Foundation's income comes from donations from liverymen and freemen of the company, and some income from our investments. By the standards of most livery companies, we are not well endowed, so the donations from current members of the company are crucial. The fund is split into the larger Education Fund, Welfare and Charity Fund 61, which was set up by an Act of Parliament and is used for more general payments, such as supporting the Royal Marines, the Lord Mayor and city-based charities. There is also a fund dedicated to the library and archives of the company. We have various funds within the Stations Foundation, one of which is the libraries and archives, and today we made a decision to finance the digitalization of the archives here. Um, it's, it's not a great deal of money, but it's very important because it gives the company a, an income from its heritage. The largest part of our educational giving is to postgraduates. The Foundation offers 10 bursaries to postgraduate students on specific courses related to our industries. Successful students each receive a bursary of £6,000 and are offered the opportunity to receive mentoring during the period of their studies from an appropriate member of the stationer's company. Well, the bursary awards started a couple of years ago. In fact, we started the planning three years ago and they are aimed at postgraduate students on a range of courses across the UK on subjects that are linked to the footprint of the company. And we wanted to do something that would make a difference. We wanted to have awards that were large enough to make a difference for those students, which would really enable them to study those subjects and then graduate and move into the, the industries that, that the company has an interest in. My financial situation wasn't exactly ideal for doing a master's. Taking a year out and not working uh, was going to be a bit of a tricky situation. Having uh, a lump sum just to help with all the costs, whether it was books or just mainly tuition, um, it was a massive, massive uh, weight off my shoulders. I just wouldn't have been able to study without the bursary. Um, I wouldn't have been able to afford to come and live in London. I mean, even here with the stationers funding and everything, I worked two jobs and attended lectures and did an internship at the same time and just about kind of kept it all going. So if I hadn't had the money, my parents couldn't have afforded to help me and I would have either had to save up for years, which I was working as a bookseller. You don't really earn the kind of money doing that to save thousands of pounds. So yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to come to London without the stationers, I wouldn't have been able to do my postgrad. I wouldn't have the job I have now. I do know that mentoring is, is a very important part of the process. Mentoring was brilliant. They set me up with a really good mentor. I felt like they'd really listened to what I was saying because I'm very interested in women's publishing and feminism. And they set me up with a female publisher who started her own publishing business. And she was so inspirational and just to kind of see what she'd done in publishing and she was very supportive. We've got 10 awards now. I mean, it would be fantastic if we had 100 awards. I mean, this, there's a huge need for this. We all know that students come out of undergraduate programmes with huge debt. 
And there's certainly the demand. There are more courses we want to include. There are more universities we want to include. I mean, I've got universities knocking on our door wanting to get involved in this. But at the moment, we haven't got the money. But if, if there was suddenly another £50,000 a year, no trouble at all in finding more excellent candidates for those bursaries. There are many more postgraduate courses where it would be appropriate for the students to receive bursaries, but our giving is limited by the size of the funds available. A monthly donation of just £10 would enable us to pay for one week's bursary for a student. The Foundation supports secondary school level education through the promotion of the annual Shine School Media Awards. The Shine Awards are designed to encourage the development of publishing skills in young people by helping them to improve literacy, nurture creativity and develop commercial and business skills. The Shine School Media Awards were established with strong support from the magazine and newspaper industries to reach out to schools to encourage them to uh, develop publishing skills and to think about publishing uh, as a career because it is a way of reaching actually 5,000 schools on an annual basis to say, think about doing this. And as a part of that process, we're able to get out messages about publishing, uh, but also about uh, literacy, developing respect for copyright, and also environmental messages, helping schools to get a better understanding of environmental issues. Entries to the awards are rewarded and their achievements recognised at a special gala awards ceremony at Stationers Hall. And the vibrancy of the day that we have here for the 150 children and teachers who come uh, is inspiring. I mean, they, some of the quotations from these young people, that how these awards have changed their lives, you know, suddenly they have a real interest uh, in just producing a newspaper or a magazine in school, makes the whole thing absolutely worthwhile. What the Shine Awards fundamentally are doing is saying this is the state of modern journalism, this is somewhere where there's print and there's digital, and we're looking to encourage young people to embrace both these media and to be able to equip themselves with, with skills for the future if they ever want to go into journalism, where they will be able to do the old stuff but also do the new stuff as well. The Stationers Foundation funds two Saturday schools for disadvantaged children in London. The classes aim to help primary school children reach their full academic potential and open up opportunities to give the children a better future. Based in the heart of communities, experienced teachers deliver traditional lessons in English and maths to children in makeshift classrooms. The Stationers Foundation schools are two of a network of 18 supplementary schools across the country which are organised and managed by Civitas, and all of which aim to encourage disadvantaged children to be high achievers, to reach their full academic potential and to open up new opportunities to them. One of the Foundation's main reasons for uh, ex is its existence is that it should give money towards helping people with their education. The supplementary schools are there to help those kids who are disadvantaged whose parents cannot afford to give them private education. The Civitas organisation with their supplementary schools is a natural fit for us because Civitas have all the skills and the organisation that allows us to help them promote more schools to help more children. Civitas Schools is an education charity. We work with disadvantaged children and we aim to help them get on in life, reach their full academic potential and open up opportunities to give them a better future. The Stations Foundation has been fantastic in the support they've given to Civitas Schools. So for the past four years they've funded two of our schools uh, which has helped transform the lives of hundreds of children um, around London. We've got hundreds of parents on our waiting list so if we had more funds we would be able to expand and develop the programme and, and we would love to open a third Stationers Saturday School. The Stationers Foundation pupils have made remarkable progress in their academic skills. With more funds from you, we would be able to open more schools. A monthly donation of just £10 will give one half of a term's tuition for one child. One of the stationers' treasured links is our long association with the Royal Marines, 
and a recent welfare donation has helped establish a centre for the rehabilitation of injured servicemen from all the forces, known as the Wiltshire Barn Project. The Wiltshire Barn Project was set up last year. We've had a barn in Wiltshire now for the last couple of years where we basically which we use for our training as a training facility and we run courses there as well as manufacture products. We got the idea that it would be, it would be a very good idea so if, if some of the guys coming back from Afghanistan, particularly the ones who have got um, severe injuries, could have some way of finding employment again through practical work. What we aim to do is to give them back some purpose in life and also you know, a sense of dignity in that they can, they can actually do something which earns them a living. That we're setting this project up to eventually be self-funding. Um, like everything, we have a certain amount of set-up costs which are ongoing at the moment and the Foundation very generously uh, given a, a grant, £5,000 grant, as, as Seacorn, as it were, for this project. The Barn Project is just one example of our welfare giving. As well as the Royal Marines, support is also given to organisations like the Lord Mayor's Charity, the Currents and Brides Appeal, and many other City of London projects. The trustees meet on a regular basis to discuss all aspects of the charity and to discuss current and future projects as well as making decisions on the many requests for donations we receive. The focus of the charity's work has changed dramatically over the last few years as we have developed our range of support to cover all age groups, but we would still like to do more. The trustees are now exploring new horizons for the foundation. We are interested as a charity in setting up a special fund for needs of pupils in a new school and we're working with the uh, Diocese of London Board for Schools who are looking to set up a new academy in an area of deprivation in London. It's not just a question of uh, raising funds for special needs, it's actually getting some very talented people within the company to be governors and that, that is something we can do very well. The project is still in its early stages, but the Foundation is involved in the steering committee, and it is our hope that in due course, the free school could become the stationer school and rekindle our direct involvement with secondary education. We have far more ideas than we have funds, and we have objectives, and we need more donations to meet those objectives. It is clear that the Foundation can do so much more. To do this, we need more funds, and this has to be in the form of more donations from members of the company and any individual or company who shares our objectives. Giving can either be in the form of one-off amounts or through regular monthly giving by standing order. In addition, as long as you are a taxpayer, then all donations qualify for gift aid, which will enhance the size of your donation. For companies, there is the ability of combining this support with their corporate social responsibility projects. Through your generosity, we will be able to do so much more to upgrade the education and welfare of so many more people.